Fish be a good ooh. <laughs> okay. Did not expect that one to happen. Look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Chris from Asleep at the Real. What's going on, big man? Well, I'm back in Tennessee on Watts Bar Lake, preparing for the ACC Crappie Sticks Crappie Co. Tournament, and I'm joining my friend Chris Gill from Asleep at the Reel. Today is the day before the tournament, and our mission is to find some big crappie on this lake on the Tennessee River. Oh, here he comes. There he is. Oh, good night. He thumped it, too. Look at that. Top jig. That's a good eater. Heck yeah. Crappie number one in Tennessee. Right. See, buddy. He moving? Oh, he's yep, moving. Here he comes. Here he comes. That's a big one. <laughs> that might be a tournament fish. Oh no, he came off. That was no. that was a good fish. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That I don't know if it was two pounds, but he would have been pound and, pound and three quarter. That was a good yeah. fish. So the one thing we're really trying to do is try to find a pattern. Uh, Chris was out here earlier this morning and he was catching his better fish in deeper water, that 25, 30, 35 foot range. And these, there's two bigger fish we just saw here, was it 31 foot. So that might be a pattern despite it being that first week of April. I think last year we were definitely catching a lot of fish in the shallows, like 15 foot or less. Um, water levels are down. I don't know if the water temps are just cooler we had a cooler spring and that's kind of keeping them out deep. Like I said already, we've had much warmer temps this time last year, which pushed these fish shallower into their spawning phase. This year with colder water temps, these fish seem to be staging out a little bit deeper. And finding those big fish can be difficult during this transition phase of pre-spawn to spawning or spawning to post-spawn phase. Chris and I focused on deeper timber pockets on the mouth of creek channels. After the tournament got done, I actually found out that guys were catching the biggest fish along the river channel itself, focusing on sunken timber just outside the edge of the main current. But uh, that could be a pattern that plays into the tournament on Saturday, so. Real good fish. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good fish. Yes siree. And if he's over two, he's gonna be a money fish. Look at that belly, man. I know, pre-spawners. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is tournament day for the Big Crappie Bash presented by ACC Crappie Sticks and Crappie Cove. Unlike last year, I'm not that optimistic. Uh, practice did not go too well for me today, but uh, or yesterday at least. But the good news is I talked to a few guys and it sounds like the big fish are roaming and transitioning between their pre-spawn to their spawning phases. So there is a chance we luck into a big one today. So fingers crossed. We just need one big one to win an hour. Let's see if we can get it done. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I caught a little male. That ain't gonna win the tournament. But it is fish number one. Why does this keep shutting off? There we go. Well, caught, caught the first fish of the tournament. Just not a big one. Going back, buddy. See ya. Oh, here comes one. Yep. Uh, I mean, these are good eaters, but they're not gonna... These are males too, see how dark they're getting? Starting to get that spawning tuxedo. I mean, these are be good eating fish, but they're not gonna be good weight fish. Let me just, I got the scale here, let's throw this guy on there. Don't even know if he's a pound. Look at that, 15 ounces, not even a pound. Not even a pound. You're gonna go back, buddy. 
Gonna go back. And I think we're past our first hour. All right, well, there's gonna be one in there. There's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be like a pound and a half, and we're gonna run it back in. I don't think it's gonna win, but we'll give it a shot. So I should mention how this tournament is set up. Basically, you can weigh one big fish every single hour of the eight hour tournament day. You can win money each hour, and you get to win if you catch the biggest fish of the entire tournament. There's a jackpot prize. So the goal here is to actually catch as many big fish as possible throughout this eight hour day and then weigh one in each single hour. There he is. Oh, there's a fish. Be a good, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a, that's a good fish. Come here, buddy. This is a good fish. Okay, did not expect that one to happen. This is an old spot. I don't know if you guys remember from last year. I caught two pretty nice fish. They weren't two pounders. They were like pound and three quarter, one eighths. This guy we might be making a run back for. Might be making a run back to weigh this guy in. It's one pound seven ounces, so it's gonna be a pound and a half for just under a pound and a half or I don't know. We'll throw it in the live well for now. And uh, maybe I think there's another one down there. God dang threw a damn banana in my boat. I knew that was Chris. He threw a Chris, I found the banana you threw in my live well this morning. Appreciate that. It's probably why I haven't caught a fish in about an hour and a half. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Figured why not make the run. Oh it's a pound and a half, -er, but I figured why not. Hey, nice. Boat number, please. 13. Thank you. Boat number 13. How is it on there? Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Wait a little bit. 147. Yeah. 147. 147. 147. I don't think it's going to win any prizes, but uh, it's a big fish. Got to weigh it in. So after weighing that fish in, I ran around to a few different spots. Unfortunately, the only fish I caught were some small one pounders. Nothing that was going to even come close to potentially winning uh, the entire tournament or just one hour of the day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for me on Watts Bar Lake. Uh, unfortunately, this wasn't like last year's tournament where I caught quite a few, not only quite a few fish, but quite a few big fish. Uh, only managed the one and a half pounder today. It happens. Uh, cold front moved through. I'm excited to see what the scales were, and I will show you that when we we finish up this year this year we actually decided not to show everybody the weights each hour um, you just went in blind so you had to weigh it and then hope that you won so you this way everybody comes back at the end of the day and find out who won each hour of the day and then who won the, the entire tournament so i'll be sure to show you some of that appreciate you watching as always do me a favor there's a lot of cool youtubers here uh, fishing with norby andrew norby um, Stu from Total Angling Experience, Chris from Asleep at the Reel, Matt Zenas. Do me a favor, go ahead, subscribe to their channels. I'll link all their channels below. Um, it's always cool meeting new people, especially people that do what we do as videographers and, and on YouTube. Um, and then huge thank you to Crappie Cove and ACC Crappie Sticks for putting this tournament together. Uh, couldn't have done it without them. So a huge thank you to all of you that were part of it. Appreciate you watching as always. If you've got any comments or questions on the gear I used in the video or tactics that I used uh, to attempt to try to find big fish, uh, let me know in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. We'll see you in the next one. I'm back home in Wisconsin.